All right, I have a 2020 Chevy 2500. It's a high country. And the parking brakes, people are, they're wearing out, you know, um, and having issues with it. And everyone's trying to figure out why these parking brakes wear out. They shouldn't really. But anyhow, I use mine quite often. Uh, my driveway is on a pretty good hill. Uh, I do have a utility trailer to haul the ATV and UTV around. And I will set that parking brake manually a lot of times on the driveway. So, I had done the passenger side. This is actually the driver side. The passenger side was completely gone, worn out. I had to place the drum and rotor. It's all one unit. And... Uh, absolutely nothing left of it this one the driver's side i've taken apart and noticed it's like i got plenty of pad there's nothing wrong with this and i actually have a 12 volt converter and went back here and was able to go in and hook that up and make sure that the actuator is actually turning correctly both ways and the pistons coming in and out because it's all just done on gears and uh it it worked fine and then as i was putting it back together to make some adjustments to make sure that the parking brake pad is or i should say shoe is uh correctly spaced and slide it on and off and you won't behold she just slid right off and well let me go grab that again and you can see these tabs they're basically I would say rusted off but my idea what's what's happening you can see the little tabs it's supposed to hold on to there's really nothing there they're actually just I'm going to point that out. <laughs> they're actually right on here. They're not here. They're in here. And uh, so anyhow, so if you manually uh, uh, put the parking brake on on a hill, the truck and trailer will actually roll a little bit before the parking brake actually grabs completely. So during that period, it, it wants to torque on these pads. And I'm going to say after time they actually break off these rivets in here and they just come loose and now they're out of alignment and a whole bit and they'll just wear out just you know from driving down the road so that's my idea it's just uh a crappy make for a, a, a shoe pad so my idea is <laughs> don't let the truck roll whatever little bit and then set the the parking brake it's supposed to do it automatically and i'm gonna let it do it by itself i am not going to manually hit the button and do it especially on a hill maybe on a flat surface but then i really don't need it but um i think that's what's going on here anyhow that's just my thought and suggestion and an idea like I said, everyone seems to have some other ideas. They've replaced the actuator, and and they think that's the problem because it's it's not working all the time, and uh, could be. But like I said, I'm just throwing another log in the fire here and uh, saying, check this out, see what happens. So I'll be replacing these. Uh, all right, here's the the new uh, brake shoes. I got them from the dealership because they had them <laughs> and you can see how much brake shoes there not a whole lot there whatsoever and here is the one that's actually come off and fell through and as you can see here there's really not much uh, worn away it's just fall apart nice anyhow back to the install